beauty of calculus is that you can visualize a function without actually seeing its graph. Now, the first derivative has its many applications, and one of the applications that we're going to be using today is to uh, check the behavior of a given function without really graphing it. So in this particular illustration, I know I'm giving you a, a graph, but later on we're not going to see a graph, but I just want you to visualize what where a local mi maximum, local minimum is, and how the function is increasing and decreasing. Now in this graph right here, my local maximum is the peak of your graph, and my local minimum is the lowest point in your graph in a given um, interval. Now, we know that the function is increasing if from looking at the negative infinity right here or in this graph, your function is increasing or going up from this interval up until this point, which is your local maximum. And from your local maximum or your highest peak, it starts to change direction and it's now decreasing. Now, from the lowest peak, which is your, I mean, your lowest um, value, which is your local minimum, it will start to increase again. So for this particular function, you can visualize how the function is increasing and decreasing by just looking at the interval. Now, how do we use the first derivative to actually visualize a function without seeing the graph? Now, the condition is that for the first derivative, or if f prime of x is greater than 0, then f of x is increasing, which is basically telling you that if the value of your first derivative is positive, your function is increasing at that particular interval. Now, the second condition when it's decreasing is that if f prime of x is less than 0, then f of x is decreasing, which means when your first derivative has a negative value when you plug in a value in that particular interval, the function is therefore decreasing. Now, how do we check for the local maximum and local minimum of a graph by using the first derivative? For local maximum to exist, the change in the function should be from positive to negative. Just like in this illustration, if you'll notice for this local, for this point right here, which is your local maximum, the direction is changing from increasing and then decreasing, so therefore the local maximum exists. So this is how you visualize this condition. And for the second condition, the first derivative changes from negative to positive, then local minimum exists. So when it's decreasing right here, hitting the local minimum, it's changing its direction to a increasing fashion. So therefore a local minimum exists when this condition is satisfied. Now also for the third condition, if f prime of x has no changes in sign, then the local maximum and local minimum does not exist. So it's also possible that there's no local minimum and local maximum in your function. Now let's have our first example where I'm going to give you a function without the graph and we're going to analyze and uh, see the behavior of the graph using the first derivative. And here's our first example. Let's find the interval where the function is increasing and or decreasing and if local maximum or minimum exists. So the function that we're working on is x squared minus 2x minus 3 and we need to find one, when is the function increasing and decreasing and the second one is that where to find the local maximum and the local minimum. Now the first step in Analyzing this function using the first derivative is to find the critical number or setting your first derivative to zero. So our function is x squared minus 2x minus 3. Finding its first derivative, we have 2x minus 2. Now we can find the, uh, the critical number by setting the first derivative to zero. So x is equal to 1. So now that we have found our critical number, we are ready to check where the function is increasing or decreasing. And for step number two, we're going to construct our sign chart. So for our sign chart, we're going to uh, cut it into two, where in your interval will end at x equal to one because this is your critical number. So this is my sign chart, and I'm going to check whether this particular interval is going to give me an increasing function or decreasing function. And to do that, so you set your first derivative, which is f prime of x is equal to 2x minus 2, and you substitute a number to x where x is anything less than positive 1. So basically you're finding or you're using any number that is less than 1 because this is the interval that we are checking. So for this particular interval, I chose 0 because 0 is 
positive 1. Now, can you use any number aside from 0? The answer is yes, as long as it's less than positive 1. You can use negative 2,583 and just check if the sign is positive or negative by substituting it to the function to see if it's increasing or decreasing. And this particular example, I plugged in 0 for my first derivative and I found out that my value is negative or negative 2. So I'm not concerned about this numerical value, I'm just concerned about its sign. So the sign is giving me a negative value, therefore my interval for this particular, or my, the behavior of the graph for this particular interval is going to be negative, wherein it's decreasing. So from negative infinity to positive 1, I know that my function is decreasing because it's negative. Now for my second interval, which is anything higher than 1, I'm going to choose any number that is more than 1, and in this case I'm using 2, and I found out that my value is positive. So for this particular interval, which starts from positive 1, going to the, neg to the positive infinity, my value or my first derivative is positive, therefore it's increasing. So I know that for this interval, I've ans I have answered the first part of the question, wherein the function is increasing on positive 1 to negative infinity and decreasing on the interval negative infinity to positive 1. And to answer the last part of the question, whether the local maximum or minimum exists, I can answer this question because I know that the sign is changing from negative to positive. So if you illustrate it from negative, so going down and then going up at x equal to 1, therefore I have a local minimum. So therefore I was able to um, prove or I was able to find out when the function is increasing and decreasing and if the local maximum or minimum exists. Now for the second example, we have to find whether the function is increasing or decreasing and we are going to find the local maximum or minimum for that function if ever it exists. So for the function, we have x cubed minus 27x minus 20 and we're just going to use the um, the steps that we did on the first example, so step one is finding the critical number, so f prime of x is equal to zero, so find the first derivative of the function which gives you 3x squared minus 27. Now after finding the first derivative, set it to zero so you can find its critical number, and in this case we have two critical numbers because we have x squared equal to 9, taking the square root of this number will give you positive or negative 3. So these are my critical numbers that I'm going to use to partition my sign chart. So that's going to be my second step. So I have three partitions because I have two critical numbers which is negative 3 and positive 3. So I have my first interval which is from negative infinity to negative 3, my second interval in the middle, which, which is any number in between negative 3 and positive 3, and my third interval will be positive 3 and negative infinity. Now what we need to do is to check whether it's going to give us a positive value or a negative value for the given interval. Now for the first set of interval, which is negative infinity to negative 3, you can choose any number in between this interval and plug it into f prime of x to check if it's going to be positive or negative value. So in this case, I chose negative 4 for my value, and I found out that f prime of negative 4 will give me a positive answer. So that means I know that the function is increasing on this given interval. And for the second interval, I'm going to choose a number in between negative 3 and 3. I chose 0, and it gave me negative value. So for this interval, my function is decreasing. Now for the last interval, which is 3 up until positive infinity, I chose positive 4 and plug it into the first derivative, I have positive value. So therefore, I know that it is going to be an increasing um, interval. So I have my answer here, which is for f of x, it's increasing on the values or on the interval at negative infinity and positive negative 3 
and on positive 3 and positive infinity. And it's decreasing on this interval, which is negative 3 and positive 3. Now, to answer the second part of the question, whether the local maximum or local minimum exist, I know that I have a local um, for the first one, positive, going up, then going down, I have my local maximum at x equal to negative 3. And for the second critical number, from negative value, so from going down, now it's going up. So therefore, I have my local minimum at this particular point. So this is how I will organize my answer by, by the given function using the first derivative test.